Hi, I'm Chris from CodeReviewVideos.com and in this video we're going to look at the app that we're going to be building throughout this series. To cover the tech stack, what we're going to be using here is React for our front-end library. We're going to use Redux for handling our application state and we're going to be using Redux Sagas to handle side effects which effectively means things like talking to and receiving responses from our API. We're also going to be working with our Symphony 3 API backend that we created in the previous tutorial series here on Code Review Videos, which was the FOS user plus FOS REST plus Lexic JWT or JOT authentication bundle to create ourselves a working user login and registration API. So if you already have the equivalent knowledge of this, then I would advise just checking out the course content from GitHub. It's already available up there. Just at the bottom of any video, you should be able to find the code for this course. If not, then feel free to walk through that course first as that will be the basis that we're using for this course. Taking a walk through the application, we can see it's fairly typical of a modern app. We've got our home page, which has just got some anonymous available content. In other words, you don't need to be logged in. Likewise, the about page, you don't need to be logged in. But if you try and hit the profile page, then you do have to log in to get to that page. And once you're logged in, you'll see that that pulls some information back from the API to populate the page. Also allows us to change our password. So we've got the login page, which we've been redirected to here because we tried to hit the profile page, which we're not allowed to do at this point. So if we go to login, then you can see it's the same screen and also the register page as well. You can see that these buttons are grayed out at the moment because we've got no information in the form. So once information goes into the form, then that should become available. What I'll do before I send any information in is just send through the login feature from the BHAT suite in the previous series. And you can see here, this tells us that we're going to have a username of Peter available. And we could log in whether we're using our username or our email address. And we need to send in the password of test pass as well. So let's do that now. So we'll put in Peter and test pass. You can see that the login button becomes available for us. And when we click that, we get the spinner. And that's all hooked up to our Redux state, as we'll see as we go through. Once we're logged in, we go to the profile page. You can see that our data is pulled back. And if we look in the network tab, we should be able to see that go through as well. So it's hitting the profile endpoint for the user ID of one. It's no, it knows that we've got the user ID of one because when we log in, we're saving this information off to local storage. So we save off the token that we get back and also the decoded information just for usability purposes. When we log out, this information should be cleared and then we should be able to register also. And you could see there very quickly it updated as it got back new data from the API. And that's really it for the application. Whilst it seems like there's not a whole lot happening in terms of the available functionality, there's actually quite a lot of code going on underneath. And that's what we're going to get to in the very next video.